Hello and welcome back. We're talking about what's new with uh, Infrastructure Services 2017.3 with the Centrify agent for Windows. And uh, we're introducing a new feature is self-service password reset. Uh, this capability has been around for a long time for Windows and it's the ability to extend uh, the credential provider, used to be called Gina in other versions, to uh, support other functions here. But let me just show you my environment. I have basically a domain controller, a member server. I'm actually tapping into the event log of my Windows machine here. Uh, and we're gonna, just going to walk through the life cycle here. I also have an iPhone, uh, so I can show you MFA. So how it works is, is quite simple. I'm just going to pick another user. So we're going to use Lisa. And ultimately what we're going to do is, if I forgot my password, all I need to do is click on my password, uh, forgot password. And then uh, I'm going to click next. This basically what it does, it talks to the Centrify Identity Platform. And provided that the user is subject to a policy that allows for self-service password reset, they'll be able to do this. At this point, uh, they need to um, basically establish identity assurance. They can do this different ways. For example, this user here is using OthOTP, and I can just go to my phone and just uh, find that code for, for, for a second here. So let me go ahead and find it. And in here, I have it. I think it's the right one here. Uh, so it's a 323, 6 And uh, what's going to happen here, provided that I added the right code, I'm going to be allowed to change the password. So I'm going to see if I can uh, change it to something that I may not know. So Right, so password's changed. If it satisfies the... Um, password policy, the group policy, it will actually go. And uh, I'm going to try and, and use it to log in. And here you have it. I'm able to log in, no problem to this box, right? So what happened in the back end? In the back end, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. We've created um, a Centrify audit trail, right? And um, uh, basically, the other trail is going to, you know, basically explain, hey, this user has successfully um, uh, done a password reset. So let's go ahead and do event viewer. So in the application event log, basically, we're going to have Centrify audit trail uh, events here. So you can see that this user, Lisa, was able to reset her password. Also, in the identity platform, we will uh, update the, um, uh, the dashboards accordingly. So the key here is um, basically ease of usability. This has been around on Windows for a little while. Also, identity assurance. You're reusing what you have in terms of CIP. And you can make it as hard as you want. You can make it for people to have true MFA methods, or you can have people uh, just use uh, step-up methods. And ultimately, audit trail, you, you can uh, allow your security operations or uh, your Splunk or log rhythm to grab that information so you can get metrics in terms of self-service. So I'm hoping that this feature is quite simple. Um, it also has a companion feature, not released in this version is the account unlock. It's actually on preview, but we're happy to um, you know get your feedback.